Hey guys, so my wife Ava uh, comes from a very warm Italian climate and we live in the great state of Maine now which is cold by really any human standards uh, but particularly for her it's finally a pretty nice day out and it's actually quite hot. Uh, she's outside enjoying the sun right now and I'm eager to go see what she thinks. Ciao Bella. Oh, ciao. How are you enjoying the weather? Finally, some sun also here. There is something that I really miss. What's that? It's a gelato because in a day like this with the sun high, we eat a gelato in Italy. Well, it's hard to get good gelato here, or at least real gelato here, but uh, we do have ice cream. We can have an ice cream. Harper, I never had American ice cream. Well, are you willing to uh, give it a shot? If it's the only thing that we can get, uh, yeah. but we don't have ice cream. Ava, I'm American. We always have a secret stash of ice cream. Okay, well before we get started in serving you your very first American ice cream, can you clear up for me what exactly is the difference between ice cream and gelato? Gelato is made with milk, egg, cream, and sugar, while ice cream is made for the most just by cream. I see, so gelato is a little bit lighter because of the milk and everything. It's not all cream. Yes. Well, buckle up, because you're about to get a healthy dose of cream today. Your favorite. Mm, yes, for sure. In Italy, do they put a lot of things into gelato, like candy and cookies and things like that? In America, we definitely like uh, spicing our ice cream up with some of our other favorite foods. Um, so today I thought I would get uh, an ice cream flavor based around one of our favorite candies. Which means? Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Ice Cream. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are my favorite American candy and they happen to be your favorite American candy. So I thought, how perfect. Let's try. <laughs> She knows she's gonna like this because she loves Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Look at that. Okay, the, 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 I don't know, but uh, he looks pretty good. I got a cone and everything. <laughs> You're getting the full ice cream experience here. There we have it. Ava's first American ice cream cone. It looks like a gelato. What do you think? I like peanut butter. Yes. I love peanut butter cups. Yes. But this is not good. What's wrong with it? Okay, the taste of peanut butter cups I understand, but then as a gelato ice cream has no real taste. It has no consistency in your mouth. It's not cream as a gelato. When you have a bite of gelato is like, wow, an explosion of flavor. Come on, this is pretty plain. I better taste it. Maybe we just got a bad batch. I mean, I think it's delicious, <laughs> but that does have a lot more to do with the candy than the ice cream itself. And I kind of just want to eat a Reese's peanut butter cup now. <laughs> have you ever had a gelato in Italy? No. So guys, I need to bring this guy on the other side because just if you try the real gelato, you can understand why this can't be a gelato. And he's keeping eating <laughs> anyway. Well, the Reese's peanut butter cup was a bust, but maybe if we find the right flavor, we'll have more success. So I'm thinking we go with sort of an Italian flavor this time. Pistacchio? Uh, not exactly. Have you heard of Ben and Jerry's ice cream? No. So they're very popular here in the US and they make all kinds of wacky flavors. And I found one that I think is gonna really bring you home. Allow me to introduce to you Ben and Jerry's cannoli ice cream. Isn't that wonderful? Even in Italy, I bet that we don't do cannoli ice cream. You don't have cream. cannoli gelato? In Italy, if you want a cannolo, you eat a cannolo. You don't need the cannolo ice cream. And also, I'm sorry. Mascarpone ice cream. Mascarpone. Cannolo is made with ricotta cheese, not mascarpone. Mascarpone is weird. 
And the nice thing about Ben and Jerry's is that it's all ready to eat. And why not on a cone like before? Ben and Jerry's doesn't work on a cone. Something happens with Ben and Jerry's when you take it out of the container that it comes in. The molecular structure changes. I don't really know what's going on, but you, you only eat Ben and Jerry's directly out of the pint. Let's try this amazing canola made by mascarpone. <laughs> Leave this and take the real canola. Buon appetito. Does it bring you back to Sicilia? Does it taste like a canola at all? No. No? Not even a little bit? It tastes like a canola. No. It, no, <laughs> it isn't good. It's too sweet. It, yeah, I see what you mean. It's pretty just, uh, yeah, it just tastes like sugar. It has some crunchy bits. I guess that's sort of like a canola. Maybe I should remind you how a canola tastes. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Let's make cannoli. <laughs> ah. Well, that's strike two for America so far in Ava's playbook. But, you know, America's strength is really innovation, not just with flavors, but also with technique. What I'm about to give you is a space age concoction. It's an ice cream that's made from liquid nitrogen, which produces a spectacular effect. What is that? <laughs> so ideally, I would have gotten the brand Dippin' Dots. Uh, but it's not really the kind of ice cream that you find at most stores, but I did find a knockoff. So that's interesting. This is a uh, itty bits So you peel this back and as you can see when you make ice cream with liquid nitrogen what is that? <laughs> It balls up into these little these little balls Isn't You that, want to poison me? Isn't that cute? And you, you just spoon it out with a spoon no, don't don't read the ingredients, please. <laughs> so this is this is ice cream reimagined. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it uh, an interesting novelty? My God. Isn't that sort of fun to change things up instead of just a boring old bowl of gelato? The flavor is horrible. It's a banana split flavored. That's the it's, only one they had. It's horrible. And then also the consistency. At the beginning it's cold and then it became like a bite of butter in your mouth. So you don't like uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream? This is one of the worst things that you can give to a kid. If I had this uh, as a child, I never want to have gelato another time in my life. Because this is so good, you could never go no, back. No, because this is horrible. <laughs> well, I've run out of ice cream here at home to have you try, and so far I haven't found anything that you've liked, but I do have one more idea that could win you over to American ice cream. Are you willing to take a little trip to get there, though? See, if I can find something that I like, yes. Can I get a vanilla sundae with hot fudge, whipped cream, and nuts, please. Little cherry on the Yes, please. Okay, Ava's first hot fudge sundae. Doesn't that look good? I believe it's a mountain of whipped cream. A mountain of deliciousness. We better eat it quick because it's starting to melt. Mama. Take a bite. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Just let me try again. So, <laughs> just to understand. <laughs> oh, we've got some falling pieces here. Ah! It's good, huh? Can I try a bite? Or do you want to keep it all to yourself? Maybe. Come on. That's pretty good. Can you try this? Come on in. They're like maraschino cherries. That's Italian, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do in another way, but yes, but they are good. And as I always say, when you do things properly, 
They are good though. So I guess the moral of the story is that good ice cream made in this case by hand crafted is a little bit better than the stuff you buy at the store huh a lot better so what do you think does this satisfy your craving for a gelato do you feel like you're back in italy on a hot day wait no gelato is another thing but this is pretty good and i was just thinking now mm -hmm. that Maybe we can give an Italian, let's say, taste, an Italian touch to American ice cream. What did you have in mind? Pushing the KitchenAid to its absolute limit today. But it will be good, trust me, trust me. I have a feeling that these are gonna be better than your typical ice cream sandwich. This is what in Italy we call uh, brioche col tuppo. Brioche is uh, this bone, huh? and tuppo is this because remember, look at me, remember this. Buon appetito! Buon appetito. Mm. Guys, this is the best part. This is the kind of food that I'm really worried about knowing how to make at home anytime I want it. This is dangerous. This is amazing. This is a good fusion of an Italian brioche and American ice cream. This is perfect for a not day when I'm at home. Now I know that I can make the brioche and I can eat the American ice cream. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll put the recipe for the brioche down below, and we encourage you to give it a shot with your favorite ice cream. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, at Pastagrammar, and check out our recipe blog, www.pastagrammar.com. See you next time. Ciao! Ciao.